Hi everyone, welcome to the CA classroom. Today we will see a few concepts in the Companies Act known as MOA and AOA to understand what they are. Before we get into that, let me give you a classic example. Let's say today if you want to enquire about say X, if you want to know, have, get any information about a person, how do you get the information? You go check their Facebook profile, you go check their social media profile and you try to obtain information. You have a lot of ways in which you can obtain information about a person. Same way, if I ask you to go inquire about a company and tell me, give me details about this company, you can Google and obtain a lot of information today. But let's go back 50, 60 years back when there was no Facebook, no social media, no Google. The only form of information was available to the company and there was no concept of internet. There was no internet. How do you obtain information about a company? I want to know what is a company, what they do. Before you invest money into a company, it is important to understand what is that company. All those basic details about a company will be available in a public document called Memorandum of Association. Before you enter into any transaction with the company, it is deemed and understood that you have read and understood the MOA. Before we get into what the MOA contains, let us see what an AOA is. AOA stands for Articles of Association. What is this? Again to give you a classic example, let's say you want to join a company. The company says, there are few conditions which you have to satisfy to join me. You need to have minimum 5 years experience. You need to be expert in tally. You should also have experience in auto sector. These are few conditions specific to each company. So to join each company, each role has some rules which the candidate has to satisfy. Every company will also have its internal management. Rules which company has to follow. Remember, company is an artificial judicial person, separate legal entity. Now, company cannot think on its own. Somebody has to set some guidelines first for the members of the company, employees, everybody to follow. So, articles are basically rules within a company which the company has to follow. So, in the previous section, we have discussed briefly what an MOA is. It is to understand what a company is, what are its powers, where is it located, what is its name. So the MOA has six clauses. First is the name clause. The name clause says, what is the name of the company? A private limited company has to use the word private. Public limited company has to use the word limited. One person company has to use the word OPC. Name of a company. Name of the company is mentioned in the name clause. Reliance Industries, etc. Situation clause. What is situation clause? Situation clause tells the address of the registered office of the company. In which state is the head office? To be precise, head office or corporate office. It is known as registered office of the company is located. You need to register with the ROC of every state. In India, every state has one ROC except two states, Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra. Since business in these states is heavy, Tamil Nadu has two ROC offices, one in Chennai and one in Coimbatore. Maharashtra also has two, one in Mumbai and one in Pune. However, the northeast states, northeastern, all the seven states put together, since business over there is less, has only one place to register your office. It is in Shillong. No. Moving to the object clause. What is the object clause? Object clause talks about what is the purpose of the company? What is the purpose for the life of the company? Now, let's say Indigo Airlines, the object of Indigo is to have aircrafts to help air travel. So, main object of Indigo is air travel. Can they do any other business? 
can indigo get into restaurant business tomorrow can they start their own restaurants in cities they can do it only if the object clause says the company has power basically object clause gives power to a company to do any transaction a company cannot do any business which is not mentioned in the object clause any such activity is void next let's let us look at the liability clause liability clause talks about what is the liability of the members we already discussed lab company can be classified based on limited by shares limited by guarantee unlimited company in case of an unlimited company liability clause will say liability of members is unlimited capital clause says what is the authorized share capital of the company basically what is the maximum share capital a company can have association clause says the first members of the company will sign in the mou so this is a brief introduction to moa and its clauses in the previous section we have discussed what an ao is ao is articles of association basically the rules internal rules which the company has to follow these rules can be of two types any clause in the articles of association can be altered just by passing a special resolution in the general meeting of the company companies act 2013 has also introduced a new concept called entrenchment provision what do you mean by entrenchment provision it says these clauses are much more stricter in nature to change if you want to alter the entrenchment provision special resolution is not required you need to pass some more stricter resolutions which will change case to case based on the company example if promoter of the company who is now the director can say to remove the director you need to pass a unanimous resolution this is one example of an entrenchment provision entrenchment provision will be included in aoa at the time of formation of company or at a later time if you want to alter the entrenchment provision or include a new entrenchment provision you require a unanimous resolution from the members of the company so this is the brief introduction to moa and aoa we are only revising concepts from foundation to get good grip for the intermediate syllabus thank you